Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Power Automate Flow to fetch site news or article data via HTTP requests. You can extract the latest news from an HTML response and share it automatically through email or post it to a Teams channel. This is super useful automation for anyone who want to keep their team updated in real time. Imagine you have a company website and you have news and article posted on this website every day and you want to share the latest news or latest blog posted on the website to your team inside the company via Microsoft Teams or sending them the article via email address. So we'll take an example of this site. I want to email this latest article to some employees and also I want to post that same article link into the Microsoft Teams. So first we need to open Power Automate and then we'll create a new flow. I will click on create and then we will trigger the flow manually or you can set it to run on a schedule depending on how frequently you want to pull news from your website. So maybe you want to do it daily or weekly. You can configure the flow to run that way. If you want to run the flow automatically, you can select a reoccurrence trigger and set it to your preferred frequency like daily, hourly or weekly. So I will select the schedule cloud flow. I will give this flow a name. I will say email latest article and then the flow reputation you can change it to hour or daily or weekly i will just change it to daily for now because we are creating an article daily on the website so we want this to run once a day and fetch the latest article email it and then also post into max of teams i will click on create now we need to add an http action so i will click on plus sign click add an action and search for http so we can see the HTTP action there. I will click on this to select. In the URL, I will take the URL from the blog site and then I will just add the URL here. The method is going to be a get because we want to retrieve the news article from that website. If I look at this blog site, I need to fetch this information. So what I can do is, so first I need to split on this one. I get the last item from the split, which will be all of this information. And then I will split on this read full story text and then I will get the first item from that split which will give us our latest article. Okay so let's click add an action. I will add a compose action here and in the input I will go to insert an expression. I will say last because we want to get split on this one and get this item. So it will be the last after the split and then we'll do split and then we'll split text which will be dynamic content. That will be the body of HTTP. Okay. And then what is the separator? So the separator is going to be this whole text. So I'll copy that and I will, within single quote, I will add that text here and I will click on add. So what it will do is it will split the HTML response and then it will get the latest value from that split, which will give us all the articles. We'll click on add. Now, after the split, we will retrieve all this information. Now next split we need to do is on this read full story. So if I do split on this one and get first, then I will only retrieve the latest article. The key here is to knowing the structure of the HTML page you want to fetch the data from. It could be a news article or other information. Once we have isolated the section, we can format it for email and Teams posting. So let's do the next compose add an action compose action I will select. Now I will add a regular expression here as well. I will say first. So I need to get the first item from the split and then I will do split and then the split text is going to be the result from this previous compose. And then we need a separator which in this case is going to be the read full story. So I will click on copy that and within the single quote I will put that separator in there. I'll click on add. Now after this compose run we will have our article which is in the middle. So we done two split first on this one to retrieve anything after that and then on this one to retrieve anything before that which is this article only. So next we need to send it via an email. So I'll click on plus sign add an action send an email version 2. I will send it to myself just for testing this and then in the subject line I will just say new article is published and then in the body I will select the output from the compose one. So this will give us our article. But then before that, I need to add a header. So I will click on this 
toggle code view so here i will just say h1 and say new article and then we'll close h1 heading and i'll come back to the normal view so you can see new article as a heading and then you can see the article here same thing we'll do is we'll send this in microsoft teams so i'll click on the plus sign add an action we will select post message in a chat or channel so we'll post in the channel so i'll select channel and then i will select the channel id or i can select it from the list so i will select key point team and then in terms of channel i will select the journal channel from here so i can select journal and in the message i will again select the result from the compose output so compose one output and then if i go to the code view i can just add a h1 heading here so i can say h1 new article and then i will close the h1 heading all right so i will save this flow now and we can test it the flow is scheduled to run daily but to test it i can just click on the test and i will select manually click on test and then i will click on run flow click on done you can see the flow ran successfully and i have received an email with the h1 heading new article with the image and link and the description for the article as well so if i click on the either image or on this link it will take me to that article straight away now let's check the teams so i've selected the key point team and then if i select a general channel i can see the article is published here as well with the link to the article so if i click on that link from the teams i can see the same article here again you can customize this even further by pulling multiple articles adding more html filters or even integrating other platform to distribute the content across different channels you could also send notification through mobile apps to create follow-up tasks based on the article content the possibility with power automates are endless now you can see how you can easily fetch the latest side news or articles and distribute them automatically using power automate if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on power platform leave a comment below if you have any question or idea for future tutorials thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video